Hello everybody and welcome back to the last episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. It has been a crazy journey, I've had a ton of fun, and I hope you guys have too. But we do need to end things because we've done everything that we pretty much can do, aside from some multiplayer type things. But anyways, I got the whole team up to level 65. I figured 65 is a good level. Uh, last time we were 55. Um, all of the Elite Four members, I think their strongest Pokemon went up to 70? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I want to say like 65, but I bet it is 70. Um, and this time, I'm pretty sure the strongest Pokemon is level 80? I could be wrong. I kind of just glanced over uh, after checking online real quick. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I did want to show you the team really quick. Um, nobody's really arranged in any particular order. It's just kind of like everyone's here. Let me just heal the team really quick. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm good on items. I don't think we need to buy any. We have so many, uh, or so much, uh, money. Money from just winning after, you know, the Pokemon League, because there's so many trainer battles you can do. Um, and not really much to spend it on, but let's take a look at the team again real quick. We got Shellock, Jacques, Gulliver, Clefebe, Chrissy, and Jackie. And I think we're gonna... I forget, I forget who's first. Okay, it's Lorelei, I forgot. Um... Lorelei has Ice-type Pokemon, and like every other Elite Four member, after you've beaten them once, they're gonna have... Um, a bunch of, or not a bunch, they're going to have a couple Pokemon from different generations. So Johto or Hoenn. So first, second, and third gen Pokemon are going to be all around here. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the Elite Four, have returned. You know how it goes. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Haha, <laughs> are you ready? I sure am. Alright, Lorelai's gonna send out her Dugong, which is just what I figured. Her Dugong's level 64. That is, uh, pretty strong. Um, by the way, I haven't really put any particular thought into which items the team members are holding. Um, in fact, I couldn't even tell you who's holding what. <laughs> I just know that some people are holding, or some Pokemon are holding items that may or may not be super beneficial to, uh, making them more strong. Okay, now she's gonna send out Piloswine. Piloswine is a ground ice type Pokemon. I really like Piloswine. I used one in my last uh, Soul Silver playthrough that I did, and it was like the best thing ever. Super cute. <laughs> I'm hoping this will do good damage. Ah, yeah! Critical hits! We are landing all of the critical hits. Alright, now she's going to use her Lapras again. I think we should send out our Jacques. See, we're, we're, we're going through this first battle like we did last time. Like, just super easy. Just just one hit after the other. Um, I'm honestly not too sure how well we're going to do against uh, Blue again. Because we are going to have to challenge Blue again. Um, and he's going to be super strong. He's definitely the strongest trainer you can fight in the game. And uh, our team isn't necessarily the best. <laughs> like, they've, they've done us well. But the, our team could definitely be better, you know? Like, we could have better natures, stuff like that. All the stuff that I don't usually ever really care about. Um, but all I'm saying is that we might have a hard time later on. But we'll see. It would have been nice to have gotten a critical hit again there. But anyways, let's just keep using Thunderbolt. And Lapras is down. Awesome. Who's next? Cloyster. I think I'm going to keep Jacques. And Thunderbolt again. Big disadvantage with the Ice-type Pokemon in this generation. They're all also Water-type. <laughs> Except for Jinx. Jinx is actually, um, you know, Psychic Ice. Which I think is next. Yes. Clefebe. I could have also done like a bug type move or something. I don't think I have a bug type move. Alright, let's just flamethrower this chick. <laughs> and we're asleep. That's awesome. You're just stalling. <sighs> it's not going to be that effective. They're just pretty much wasting time. Oh. Oh my. Oh, good thing you woke up. Yes! 
I mean, I wasn't like worried about the fight, but that would have been like super annoying. Also, Clefebe, I'm pretty sure you're holding a citrus berry. Yes, you are. I should have healed. Whoops. Because now I think she's going to use a full restore next turn. Uh, let's send out Jackie. Oh, good. Okay. See, her health was low enough to where I was kind of sure she was going to full restore and just make this take even longer. Are you serious? Okay. The burn will clean it up. Oh, God. That would have been so annoying. <laughs> uh. Things shouldn't be this way. Yeah, well, they are. All right. Uh, you're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. I'm going to heal up. You know the drill, and I'll meet you guys in the next room. Alrighty, we're up against Bruno now. Uh, I had this problem last time. I think we went out with Gulliver and it was perfect. We'll start with Gulliver. Team's all healed up. Let's go ahead and go. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon and that will never change. Red, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha. Again with the hoo-hahs. See, it's kind of weird. Lorelei when I first talked to her, she kind of hinted that, like, yeah, you know, I've, I've seen you before. We we go way back, you know? Um, but Bruno kind of ignored the fact that we fought before. Okay, so he has a Steelix. Um, Onyx is evolved form. I think we might actually be in some trouble. Yeah, that's not going to do too much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Speed's down. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do Earthquake again. I was going to do just like a little bit of damage, so next turn I could sweep him up with Earthquake. Uh, but now he's just going to heal. Oh, that's going to be really... I'm going to die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, that's pretty bad. Let's go ahead and send out Shellock. I think we can uh, get him with Water-type moves, too. Let's try Hydro Cannon. Come on. And the verdict is... You're out of here! <laughs> awesome! Alright, next up is Hitmonlee. I like the mix of, um... Oh, damn. Okay, we'll send out Cliffy Bait. I like the mix of uh, the fighting and the rock type. I think it's it's interesting, you know? It, it fits his theme, but not like a, a specific type's theme, you know? Uh, let's go with Psychic. I'm pretty sure Mega Kick is a normal type attack, so this shouldn't do too much. Also, this shouldn't do too much either. Yeah, I figured. And you missed. That is awesome. Awesome for me. I'm kind of thinking I want to spend a turn to revive, um, Gulliver. Hitmonchan. Let's do it now. I feel like Hitmonchan's gonna probably knock me out right here anyways. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and use revive. <laughs> On Gulliver. Because I feel like I need him. Yep. Almost guarantee is gonna die. Rip. <laughs> and, like, we wouldn't have knocked him out either, so this is this is okay. Um, let's go ahead and send out Gulliver. Why, wait, why am I sending out Gulliver? Because he's flying type. Alright, I forgot. <laughs> what? Sky Uppercut can hit me in the air? That is not cool. Um... Let's send out Chrissy, because I'm pretty sure uh, she'll be able to resist all these attacks. Uh, let's go with Confuse Ray. Bruno's giving us a, a pretty good fight, gotta say. Okay, that's good for us. Oh, 
Oh, really? Come on. Oh my god. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Let's go with wing attack. I forgot Chrissy had wing attack. You're out of here. <laughs> okay, who's next? Machamp? Uh, we're gonna struggle a little bit, I know it. Chrissy doesn't have the best attacking stat, so I know this isn't gonna kill him. Oh, and you got Rock Slide. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> this is a good fight. Uh, we're actually, we actually might be in some trouble. Uh, let's see. And same rules apply. If you, um, if you lose to any of the Elite Four members, you have to restart from the beginning. Okay, good. I feel like Jacques is gonna level up a bunch. Alright, let's send out Shellock again and let's get this Hydro Cannon out of here. Assuming this guy's not super strong, which he isn't. I think he's just one level higher than the last one. So hopefully this still knocks him out. Oh, Shellock, you're a hero. <laughs> awesome. And Bruno's dead. What? <laughs> My job is done, go face your next challenge, and he's gonna turn away, watch. Yep. Turns away, what a baby. Alright, again, I'll heal up, I'll see you in the next room. Alright, Agatha. Oh, I forgot to switch up the Pokemon. <laughs> I am Agatha of the Elite Four, you're the child that Oak's taken under his wing, aren't you? That old duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Red, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Please do again for the second time. Miss copy paste what you said before. Agatha. With her Gengar. I love me some Gengar. Yeah, so far, um, all these Pokemon seem to barely be stronger than what they were before. Um, I mean, 60, 10 levels higher is, you know, pretty high like my team is <laughs> um, but I don't know I was I was thinking that they were gonna be a lot stronger Hypnosis. get out of here um, also one thing I wanted to talk about last time but I completely forgot about um, in Bruno's area that we were just in uh, Team Rocket's music was playing in the Pokemon Adventures uh, series it's like a it's like a book you know uh, I think it's I think it's a manga. I think it counts as a manga. Um, I used to read those as a kid. And one thing that I found really interesting in there was that a lot of the Elite Four members and a few of the gym leaders were actually members of Team Rocket. And I don't know. I just thought it was pretty interesting because, I mean, the Elite Four, I think in the, uh, like in the show and in the games, like they're kind of depicted as like, you know, these just like noble trainers and everything and good doers and whatnot, but in the in the book series, they were, like, villains. It was, I don't know, it was pretty cool. <laughs> At least I thought so. Uh, by the way, here's a Misdreavus. I love Misdreavus so much, especially when it evolves in uh, the fourth season, or fourth generation, uh, into Miss Magius. I love it so much. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, Alright, Misdreavus is gonna restore, so let's just keep going. I'm gonna try to play this a little more smart. More smart. <laughs> oh, that did way more than Bite was doing. Let's try Hydro Cannon. Rip. <laughs> I think uh, using Jacques, using his Bite, is going to be a little better. Oh, except she's using Arbok. I forgot. She's kind of weird. Okay. One Arbok, please. Thank you. I forgot about Intimidate. This should still do some decent damage, I would think. Okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, double team can get so annoying. Like, it can go out of hand, like, just instantly. Like, if I miss this attack, probably would have done double team again. Oh, wow. I still need to attack some more. She's probably gonna heal, though. Um, 
just keep doing double team and it pretty much becomes like impossible to hit you and it's it's the worst when it's put against you <laughs> all right our walk is down i'm surprised i didn't miss that earthquake um gengar again i think we're gonna do go a little smarter and use jacques Uh, let's use Shadow Ball, because I think it's a little bit stronger. Good. This is good for us, Sludge Bomb. Go ahead and poison me, I don't care. Oh, you're done. <laughs> that Bruno fight, though, that, that really got me low. But this one, this one seems to be going a lot better. And I don't really have, like, that many type advantages, you know? Um, oh, she has a Crobat, too! Oh, yours isn't shiny. I do like how um, regular Crobats look, though. I think that purple color is, like, perfect, you know? It goes from, like, that blue to purple. Uh, but shiny Crobat is still cool, too. I mean, it's pink. How awesome is that? You get a pink bat following you around. Because you loved it so much. <laughs> uh, awesome, Agatha's dead. Oh my, you're something special, child. You win! I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along, child. What a nice lady.